আসসালামু আলাইকুম মাই ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্ট আই এম ডক্টর নরিন খান লেকচার অফ বায়োকেমিস্ট্রি ডিপার্টমেন্ট টুডে আই উইল ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট দ্য গ্লুকোনিও জেনেসিস হোয়াট ইজ গ্লুকোনিও জেনেসিস গ্লুকোনিও জেনেসিস ইট ইজ দ্য সিনসেসিস অফ গ্লুকোজ ফ্রম নন কার্বোহাইড্রেট সোর্স সো গ্লুকোনিও জেনেসিস অ্যানাদার নেম উই ক্যান কল ইট নিও গ্লুকো জেনেসিস সিনথেসিস অফ গ্লুকোজ ফ্রম নন কার্বোহাইড্রেট সোর্স দিস নন কার্বোহাইড্রেট সোর্স মে বি গ্লুকোজেনিক অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিড পাইরুভেট ল্যাকটেট ইন্টারমিডিয়েটস অফ দ্য টিসিএ সাইকেল গ্লিসারল প্রোপিওনাইল কোয়ে দিস অল সাবস্টেন্সেস সো নন কার্বোহাইড্রেট সাবস্টেন্সেস মিন্স দেয়ার উইল বি প্রেজেন্স অফ প্রোটিন ফ্যাটি অ্যাসিড আদার দ্যান কার্বোহাইড্রেট বাট ইন দিস নন কার্বোহাইড্রেট সাবস্টেন্সেস উই ডোন্ট মেনশন এনি ফ্যাটি অ্যাসিড বিকজ ফ্যাটি অ্যাসিড ইজ নট দ্য সাবস্টেন্স for synthesis of glucose from non carbohydrate substances uh, why we will discuss in later now we will discuss about the gluconeogenesis uh, salient feature for gluconeogenesis main substrates are glucogenic amino acid pyruvate lactate glycerol intermediates of tca cycle and propionyl coa and main product is glucose this glucose will be synthesized from the non carbohydrate sources or non carbohydrate substances for site gluconeogenesis liver uh, is responsible 90% and kidney is responsible 10% and on the other hand it is a anabolic uh, uh, process and here rate limiting enzymes are pyruvate carboxylase phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase fructose 16 bis phosphatase and glucose 6 phosphatase these rate limiting enzyme uh, are very important for gluconeogenesis because uh, there are three irreversible process in the glycolysis which we discussed in the previous uh, class of glycolysis that three irreversible steps will be reversible in uh, by the help of these four enzymes so these enzymes are key enzymes or rate limiting enzymes enzymes for gluconeogenesis now we will discuss uh, uh, about the compartment of gluconeogenesis main compartment is cytoplasm partly mitochondria is also responsible for gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis uh, uh, importance is during fasting and starvation condition uh, condition normal blood glucose level concentration is maintained by this gluconeogenesis procedure and another importance is disposal of lactic acid and glycerol uh, in the normal state uh, it is the main uh, two function of gluconeogenesis now we will discuss about the um, stimulator uh, gluconeogenesis will be stimulated by glucagon cortisol atp uh, acetyl coenzyme a etc and inhibited by insulin amp adp now uh, come to the point gluconeogenesis in this gluconeogenesis uh, procedure there is no uh, no uh, no UT atp will be utilized but uh, or no atp will be released here six atp is needed and which comes from the beta oxidation of fatty acid so this is the procedure of the gluconeogenesis here uh, if we uh, notice um, glucose Uh, from glucose there is a glucose 6 phosphate fructose 6 phosphate fructose 1 6 bis phosphate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dihydroxy acetone phosphate phosphonyl pyruvate pyruvate lactate this is the step of glycolysis we have to uh, uh, synthesize glucose from non carbohydrate sources so at first we have to synthesis glucose so for this uh, synthesis of glucose we have to come back in the reverse way and how we will come back we mentioned that from non carbohydrate sources this glucose will be produced so here the non carbohydrate sources are pyruvate lactate glycerol glucogenic amino acid and intermediates of tca cycle these all are the uh, substrate for gluconeogenesis from which substances glucose we will produce so come to the point when pyruvate is the substrate this pyruvate uh, can uh, not directly reverse or convert into phosphoenol pyruvate because it is a one way direction from phosphoenol pyruvate pyruvate can only produce but pyruvate cannot convert back into the phosphoenol pyruvate so for conversion of pyruvate into phosphoenol pyruvate we need 
two enzymes. At first, we have to convert pyruvate into oxaloacetic acid, which is um, possible by the enzyme of pyruvate carboxylase. So, pyruvate carboxylase is the rate limiting enzyme for gluconeogenesis. And then oxaloacetic acid will convert into phosphoenol pyruvate. And this step is done by the phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase. So, it is the another enzyme for gluconeogenesis. Now, for, from phosphoenol pyruvate, we will get glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. It is a reversible process, so no uh, enzyme is needed here. And glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate will convert back into the fructose 1,6-bis-phosphate. And fructose 1,6-bis-phosphate cannot convert without the help of any enzyme because it is a irreversible step. So, for reverse this step from fructose 1,6-bis-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate, there is a, another enzyme is important that is fructose 1,6-bis-phosphatase. So, fructose 1,6-bis-phosphatase e, phosphatase is another rate limiting enzyme for gluconeogenesis. And fructose 6-phosphate will convert back into the glucose 6-phosphate because it is a reversible step and glucose 6-phosphate will uh, convert into glucose with the help of glucose 6-phosphatase enzyme because here this step is irreversible. To reverse this step from glucose 6-phosphate to produce glucose, we have to um, need an enzyme that is glucose 6-phosphatase. So, here glucose 6-phosphatase, fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase, uh, pyruvate carboxylase and phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase. In these all uh, enzymes are the gluconeogenic enzyme or rate limiting enzyme or key enzyme for gluconeogenesis. Now, we will discuss why oxaloacetate is the key intermediate for gluconeogenesis because all the um, substrate will convert into the oxaloacetate. Then oxaloacetate with the help of acetyl-CoA, it will produce citrate, then alpha-ketoglutarate, succinyl-CoA, fumarate, malate and then again oxaloacetate. But except glycerol, it cannot convert into oxaloacetate. Glycerol will convert into glycerol 3 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, and then dihydroxyacetone uh, phosphate and glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate. These are interconvertible. Then, this uh, from this dihydroxyacetone phosphate, glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate, and glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate to fructose 1 6 bis phosphate, 6 phosphate, glucose 6 phosphate, and glucose will be produced. So, um, uh, oxaloacetic acid is the key intermediate for gluconeogenesis. And why fatty acid, though it is a non-carbohydrate substance or non-carbohydrate source, but it cannot uh, par, um, take part in the gluconeogenesis because first thing is pyruvate cannot convert, uh, pyruvate can convert into acetyl-CoA, but acetyl-CoA cannot convert into pyruvate. This is the main cause for why uh, uh, fatty acid cannot participate in the gluconeogenesis. Another important thing is from fatty acid after beta oxidation, for fatty acid will produce acetyl-CoA. Uh, and this acetyl-CoA with uh, oxaloacetic acid enter into the TCA cycle and uh, at the end of the TCA cycle, oxaloacetate uh, will again form, but uh, acetyl-CoA 2 carbon compound, it will burn out as the carbon dioxide. So, fatty acid, though it is a non-carbohydrate uh, substance, cannot take part in the gluconeogenesis. So, gluconeogenesis is the process where glucose will be synthesized from the non-carbohydrate source, but except fatty acid cannot take part in the gluconeogenesis process due to the uh, some uh, limitations. And the gluconeogenic enzyme, gluconeogenic uh, enzymes are the uh, all uh, rate limiting enzymes for gluconeogenesis we, for, to make the all irreversible steps to make them reversible. Uh, and glucogenic amino acid, it is the amino acid except leucine and lysine, all amino acids are glucogenic amino acid. And glucogenic amino acid through the five points they can convert into glucose. How? From glucogenic amino acid, pyruvate will be formed. From glucogenic amino acid, succinyl-CoA will be formed. Alpha-ketoglutarate will be formed. Uh, fumarate will be formed and oxaloacetate will be formed. So, through the five route, they uh, can produce glucose. 
so um, there are all uh, these are all about the gluconeogenesis now we will discuss about the regulation of gluconeogenesis uh, there are substrate uh, the regulations are um, uh, first point is uh, substrate availability if the substrate will be available such as non carbohydrate substances if available then gluconeogenesis will be uh, more and in case of hormonal regulation if there is a ro um, uh, more glucagon more cortisol then less insulin then the gluconeogenesis will be stimulated so in case of atp gluconeogenesis will be stimulated and in case of amp gluconeogenesis will be inhibited so these are all about the hormonal regulation substrate availability on uh, availability regulation and allosteric regulation of gluconeogenesis uh, and in this gluconeogenesis steps no atp will be produced only atp will be uh, needed for these steps and these all atp will be supplied uh, through the beta oxidation of fatty acid so these are all about the gluconeogenesis where we discuss about the definition salient feature importance regulation and why oxaloacetate is the key intermediate for gluconeogenesis and what are the uh, good gluconeogenic enzymes thank you all for your patience and hearing allah hafiz